in a way because i filmed so many eyeshadow tutorials i skipped the part on the eyebrows and i already primed my eyelids and for that i used the Urbexy foundation in shade 0w and makeup by mario concealer in a shade 180 i know this might be a lot because i did mix another product which i just put a tiny drop of this new shade of foundation i just loved um mostly this one not just not using this one for my base in general but for the most part i love how this one worked on my body area outside of the face more than on the face which is kind of weird but since it is so sheer and i love the undertone i use this one just to lighten up a little bit my base on the eyes anyways i'm gonna go in with the new pat mcgrath intensify eyes longwear primer i will spread this equally today i'm not gonna do the whole face routine just because i am waiting currently for my hourglass palette finally to arrive and i will do demo separated from this video dedicated to that palette so i think by the time this video comes out that one will be already um uploaded so yeah that's the reason why i will not do the full routine but i'm thinking to create another fall look because i was playing with some eyeshadow palettes and i did have a couple of different variations that i wanted to show you now you can totally skip this step i'm going to do it just because it's the way i love to do my makeup in general and first thing i'm going to do is to outline my eye and for that i'm gonna be using the nessa myricks groundwork palette and since i am doing that with the creams i will use this pomade right here in the shade bark and i will mainly focus on the other part of my eye also usually what i do i go with the black color but this time since the undertones will be put it this way today i'm not doing any crazy makeup look i'm just going to do a little bit more lighter version of the usual makeup that i in general love to do so that you can pull off this look even for the during the day or even night i'm still in the testing phase of this palette and i do have a dedicated video of this one if you want to check it out i will link that below as well and now i am taking a blending brush if you are doing this step you may want to use a product that are a bit more creamier so it's easier to work with them especially if you're in a rush now the next eyeshadow palette i wouldn't say this is necessarily a fall palette but you can definitely use a couple of shades for that and that is makeup by mario ethereal eyes eyeshadow palette i think yeah this was limited edition so i don't know if this one is still available if it is i will link it down below <clears throat> so the shade that i've used was i know it's some it has to do something with the numbers it's ee1 and why i use this one opposed to sandstone is because sandstone i love the shade like it's perfect yellowish neutral but the undertone for today's look this one since i am now like a medium light complexion this one suits today's look more but they are equally good so for that i'm taking like a um, small brush like this and this brush is look it's perfect to line eyeshadow underneath your eyebrow and and this brush came a long time this is ardell's doesn't have a name i think it's from ardell brush that came like a, as a gift in some of the set that i've received anyways why we're going with a lighter shade again is because it's going to be easier to incorporate the next shade that we are going to be using and as you can see i am applying generous amount of this one but yeah ethereal eyes eyeshadow palette definitely not the one that i've used a lot since i haven't do client work but if i am that's that palette would um i will hit the pan so fast i think um so maybe this will be a surprise for you again don't know if this is limited edition i hope it's not this one is beautiful it is from sigma this is mod palette and you know what looking at this color story this would be like a either beautiful fall or spring palette i think this was released during the spring i'm not sure anyways i do love the color story in here i think it's beautiful so the first shade we're going to go in is this sophisticated shade right here unfortunately because the shipping took so 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 long i did not make a full review of this palette so that i can show that to you but um 
but I've definitely used this palette, loving this palette. Blends nicely, it is good quality, and I will definitely love the color story in here. And this one, you would think it's a transition shade, which it is, but it's pretty, pretty intense. So it's gonna take me some time to blend this. Taking clean blending brush, and just gonna take my time to blend everything. I wanted to even lighten up this one in a way that I will reach the full opacity of the eyeshadow, but I do want to blend it with the previous shade. That's the good reason why I went with a lighter shade using circular motion. At this point, I still didn't decide which color I'm going to use for the inner corner. And also, as I can see, there is no or minimal fallout on this one. But whenever I am using eyeshadows, I do take the excess off no matter what. Now I'm going to go in with the same shade again, just because I did blend it so much. I do want to repeat that process, but I still feel like we need a transition between these two colors, the first, the lighter one, and now the darker one that I applied. I'm going to go in with my dream palette from Natasha Denona, and I'm going to use the shade Spontaneous. I know this is a shimmer shade, but I think... Yeah, I think this one will suit this look nicely. And usually I don't do this. I don't go on top of the shimmer for a transition like this. But yeah, I just wanted to try because I felt like this one will go nice. Now since I'm going with the darker shade, um, I will apply that one with a smaller bullet brush and I'm going in with this shade right here, which is called Edgy. Of course, take the excess off and this one goes right on the outer edge. And also I will take the blending brush now and just to diffuse this. And now I am working with the clean brush on the edges of the previous color. I want to go into this shade Sophisticated once again, um, just because now when we have all of these eyeshadows and it's quite darker now, I do want to make this shadow peaking a little bit more. Also for now, what I'm gonna do, take a smaller brush, go again with a Sophisticated shade. I know it's lighter, but I want to connect right now everything. And now I'm going back with the edgy color. Is it called edgy? Yeah. This is going to give us a little bit more warmth and this kind of um, berry shade. Well, apparently today I'm going to be using my palette a lot more than I thought. So I am going in with this street style shade, applying this one with a smaller brush. And this one goes right where the edge of my eye is following the shade that we already created. I do not want to go too far around. And also I will apply this one on my lower lash line. And now I can also pick up that color like this with my blending brush. And just spread that shade really sheer. See how this blended beautifully into my skin? That's because we used our time now to blend everything. And even though these are deeper shades, it don't look like super grungy, super dark. Now I will apply just a little bit of a base right here on my inner corner so that I can finish my lower lash line before I go with the deepest shade today. But before that, I'm gonna take shade Sophisticated on a smaller brush. And this is kind of going to be the end transition shade for my lower lash line. You do realize whenever I'm creating my looks, a lot of the time I do have um, on my lower lash line real depth of the color and they are really widely spread. And I'm just putting like one shade um, across my lash line. I typically, yeah, I don't like doing that. I just feel like it doesn't complement everything else that we're doing. It kind of kills the whole look. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing that. And you can see how this one is pretty much looking really natural, especially in its undertone. Now, once again, I'm using shade Street Style. And I will spread that shade with a really tiny brush. 
you can use any tiny brush that you, can, that you have you can also use your liner brush if you don't have this one so you can use something maybe like this and this is the one that i'm using this one is really old from makeup forever brush they're not available anymore but these last you literally forever i think it's crazy how brushes back in the day i don't know it seemed like they were higher quality anyways if you are into a bit more like lighter version of this look so you don't have to go with the deeper shade that i'm gonna go next you can just leave it like this and will be just fine you can add in a corner shade that i will apply right now and it is the same shade from makeup by mario that i already used and you will get something like this which i really love as well yeah i definitely love this but we're gonna add a little bit shimmer a little bit of depth so my next shade will be again from my dream palette aspiration this one goes just on the edge just to darken up the whole look a little bit on my outer portion of my lower lash line now i'm gonna take this gorgeous shade babies such a pretty shade let me show you you need to press it a little bit harder though when you are reaching for that shade and since i do not want to have that sparkly intense look i'm not gonna go with my fix plus because i want a sheer application i am applying same shade babies with the big blending brush usually you have to take like a flat brush to have the whole opacity but again that is not what i am going for today and i will blend this in and i still i need an inner corner shade which will be this shade spontaneous mm, but i feel like i need a little bit more cooler toned inner corner so i will switch to something else and I'm going to go into Makeup by Mario shade, what is this one? Six? Yeah, EE6, lightly on my finger. And we'll just put this, this is a topper. And I will slightly just press a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, as you can see. And um, this is basically a topper. And I don't want to use too much of this. And I will just spread this just to have that transition now i need something for my inner corner that is definitely lighter than the spontaneous shade i feel like makeup by maria's toppers are just too much too sparkly for what i wanted today looks like i'm gonna use mod palette hollow more than i thought i will so the first shade shade hot and yeah this one works pretty for what i do have on my eyes i will also apply I don't necessarily have to do that i love it the way it looks actually but aspiration and spontaneous with a little bit of fixing spray so usually when you see me using fixing spray is because i want to emphasize opacity of the shimmers that i'm using i did have a beautiful transition i'm just i hope i'm not gonna mess it up now well i'm not gonna mess it up i just hope i will like it as much as i did previously yeah i love that this one is much more like a softer version than this one is too cool yeah i love this one now i'm gonna go in with this shade aspiration i will take that shade out with the brush and i will go with the inglet dura line just one drop to create my perfect liner that's the shade that i want to have as a liner today for the most part at least so one drop and i'm gonna take liner brush and a lot of a product on it oh it looks way darker than once it's wet it looks really much more deeper than it is and i'm applying this one also in my waterline as well and this is basically what is going to give us the dimension for this look and this actually gives us a little bit more dimension and it is something that is must in every of my looks that i'm doing now for my lashes i will apply catrice and doll glam waterproof mascara like i love this brush and the fact that it has angled 
part right here which helps me to lift my lashes but for the most part the most job for the eyelashes for me is of course eyelashes and then the eyelash curler which i applied before this and once this is dry i will just apply eyelash curler just on the edges i know i sound like a broken record but i'm using ardell's 421 eyelashes i love them so much for this type of look what also would work really well is just having um eyelashes that cover outside portion of your eye or individual lashes as well but since these are so natural and they fit the shape of the eye so beautifully that's what i am wearing today i am also applying some mascara on my lower lashes but not this much and this is final look when it comes to eyes and right now i will move on to my skin now as my skin has been prepared um for the most part for my hydration i used as a finish i used dermalogica's what is this skin smoothing cream i am really loving this one since my skin is so well i have a dry skin so this one suits me really well i'm gonna start off by getting rid of any shadows on my face and for that i'm gonna be using gila mask corrector in a shade emerge and i am using that mostly on my under eyes around my nose area and i will blend that into the skin of course you can also use a beauty blender as well now once this step is done i'm gonna go in with a mixture of a foundations this is the shade or Revital essence skin glow foundation in the shade maple 350 and also prada foundation in a shade what is this well i can't believe i can't find the shade anyways i do have two dedicated videos of each product and i will link that down below as well and i just have to be cautious because this is heavy and this is plastic and if i want to shake this this would just you know i'm afraid that it's going to fall out well maybe one oh here's the shade mn45 I added three pumps of Shiseido and one of Prada. The reason for that is because I am a little bit lighter now. So this Shiseido may be a tiny bit darker at the moment for me. But the other thing is that the Prada foundation has a bit more, not a bit, a lot more coverage than the Shiseido has. It's more like a mixture between the skin tint and the skincare and like i said this is not my first choice when it comes to foundation um but then i don't want to use something i want to say prada foundation it's heavy it's really nice but i wanted to use something a little bit lighter today and also as you can see the finish is really really nice so i'll go and apply the, this to the rest of my face i'll say i really do love this combination it fills my pores really nicely and also the undertone is just it's beautiful now i'm gonna go in with the natasha denona high glam concealer this one is in shade n9 i love the undertone but i think i'm gonna have to mix this shade with a touch of yeah makeup america concealer which one which is a bit lighter just to customize my perfect shade at the moment and i will be also using just a makeup america concealer in the middle and so right now i'm using my small beauty blender oh i love the finish then i take the excess off with a paper towel and also will blend everything so that it looks seamless this is almost a shade lighter than my base and it is it is how it's supposed to look like it's, it's not supposed to look like too bright because then it's not looking flattering you always can lighten up with the powders that you are going to use later 
but it is not necessary just to put like three shades lighter underneath your eyes again it's not gonna look flattering you guys and i'm using tapping motions mostly because we do have corrector underneath and it needs to be in place and i do not want to disrupt that now i'm gonna go in with the Nessa myrix grand book palette with the shade mirage for my contour and i'm not gonna go too heavy with it this one you have to go one step at a time but this one blends so nicely the formulation is so good again i do have a dedicated video full face of this new Denisa Myrix palette and if you want to see it you can check it out just feel like in the center i'll just add a little bit more light Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you want to see the rest of this makeup applied, you can watch that video right here. And guys, thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.